Is White Rock, BC expensive? Is living in White Rock, BC expensive? Just how expensive is White Rock, BC? If you found yourself asking these questions, whether it's because you're planning to move to White Rock, BC, or maybe you're somebody that lives here and you're just scratching your head trying to figure out if things are getting more expensive day by day, well, this video is exactly for you. We're gonna dive into the cost of living in White Rock, the price of real estate in White Rock, renting in White Rock, and also just your general day day-to-day -day expenses and how they compare to that of other areas in the lower mainland. You're gonna to wanna to hang around to the very end as well and here's why. I'm actually gonna give you the figure for the cost of living that it takes to live in White Rock, BC as a single person. That figure just might blow your mind. So that all sounds good, let's get into it. My name is Darren, a realtor with McDonald Realty and team leader of the German Group. If this is your first time on this channel and you want to know everything there is to know about living or moving to Surrey, BC, White Rock, BC, or just get general updates on what's happening with BC real estate, consider hitting the subscribe button so you're the first to know every time we release any information about the market or the area. We get people just like you booking online meetups with us every day from watching these videos who are thinking of moving to either Surrey or White Rock, BC. If that sounds something like you and you're considering making a move in the next nine days, 90 days, or even nine months from now, feel free to use the provided link to book time with me and my team to talk about how we can make your move to the areas that we serve the best that it could absolutely be. All right, so is living in White Rock, BC expensive? Let's get down right to the nitty gritty. But one thing I can tell you is people want to live and want to move to White Rock for a variety of reasons. And if you're new to the concept of White Rock, be sure to check out our Living in White Rock playlist because that goes over all the great and some of the bad reasons about why you may choose or may choose not to call White Rock home. The worst thing that could happen though is you make a big move to a location, whether it's White Rock or elsewhere, and you're just really not prepared for the area. You don't know what you're getting into. This could be the case no matter whether you're starting off by renting or also buying because moving is not only a huge piece of one of the most uncomfortable and unenjoyable things you will do in your life, but it can also be incredibly expensive. As the cost of living continues to increase, you wanna know exactly what you're getting into. To kick things off, the website Area Vibes pegs White Rock, BC as the cost of living being 17% more expensive than that of the national average of Canada. So let's make sure that you are not stuck being house poor, you don't get to get outside and enjoy all the incredible nature and scenery that White Rock has to offer, your weekends belong to you, you're not stuck working, and if you have kids, they can go enjoy the neighborhood, be in sport, and you're gonna love the community that you choose. In this video, we're gonna cover real estate, renting, entertainment, and kids sports, because you might have kids if you're moving here, so you need to know. To kick this off, let's jump into real estate, which is obviously my forte, being a realtor, to give you an idea of what it costs to buy a home in White Rock and compare that to, well, let's say Vancouver. The benchmark price of a detached home in White Rock is $1.8 million. When comparing that to the benchmark of the Fraser Valley coming in at 1.466, you can see White Rock is considerably more expensive. Comparing that to Vancouver, however, well, a detached home in Vancouver comes in at $2.507 million. So maybe you don't have a cool couple million laying around. Well, what about townhouses? The benchmark price of a townhome in White Rock is 921,000, whereas the Fraser Valley comes in at 825,000, and Vancouver comes in at a whopping 1,295,000. And I get it, those are expensive as well, so we'll give you condominiums too, just so you got a really good grasp on the cost of real estate in the different areas. Condominiums come in at 580,000 in White Rock, whereas they're at 539,000 for the benchmark price in the Fraser Razor Valley. With that being said, a condominium in Vancouver is going to cost you a benchmark price of a cool $790,000. Now we know that real estate in White Rock is not obviously nearly as expensive as it is in Vancouver, but compared to maybe some of the surrounding municipalities around it in the Fraser Valley, it's probably on the higher end. 
What if you are coming here and thinking about renting though? What can you expect in terms of rental prices? When I need information for rental prices, I usually will jump over to the website called Zumper. This is what Zumper has told me. Well, the median price of renting in White Rock generally is about $2,900. To rent a one bedroom in White Rock, you're gonna spend around $1,900 and a two bedroom unit is gonna be almost $3,000 a month. It's also worth mentioning that Area Vibes website I mentioned earlier has White Rock coming in at 43% more expensive when it comes to the cost of housing than the average in Canada. If you're wondering and waiting what a two bedroom might cost you in Vancouver, well, wait no longer because they come in at a median price of $3,700. So we've got rentals, we've got buying real estate out of the way, but what about your day-to-day -day living expenses? Let's just pick some random things that you might do on a regular basis to make sure you've got a good understanding of how expensive living in White Rock really might be. The website Numbeo has going to a restaurant for two, slated as costing around $80, for a mid-range restaurant. I'm really assuming that doesn't involve any alcohol either because if it does, there's no way it's costing 80 bucks. Gasoline at the time of filming this tends to bounce between about $1.70 to $2 per liter. If you're someone watching that works in gallons, in Canadian dollars, that's $6.44 to about $7.58 per gallon. Let's maybe talk about fitness club memberships. We've got lots of different fitness clubs in the South Surrey and White Rock areas. Club 16 is on the lower side where it's gonna cost you roughly about 20 dollars a month for a fitness club membership but you can find different and maybe more improved fitness clubs available too such as the awesome fitness world up in morgan crossing area which is going to cost you upwards of about 60 dollars per month lastly if you're out on a date night or want to go check out a movie prepare to pay anywhere between about 12 to 16 dollars for your movie ticket to see the latest blockbuster release before I move on to the last one of kids sports, I did want to mention that groceries tend to be cheaper in the White Rock and South Surrey area as well when compared to areas like Vancouver. The reason for this is quite simple. The commercial rents for businesses in Vancouver are incredibly high compared to that of what we have in the Valley. So therefore they have to pass those additional expenses over to their customer when they're selling those groceries. So in general, again, you're going to pay less for groceries in this area. Kids sports was the last one I wanted to put on this list because because I am a parent of kids that play sports and I am always blown away by how expensive it feels whether that really is expensive comparison to the rest of the lower mainland, I'm not quite sure, but here's some of the numbers of what it would cost you to have your kids in sports programs in White Rock when you're considering whether it's expensive to live here. Just for consistency, I'm gonna base these numbers off a six-year-old and you'll have to check the various websites if you have kids of different ages because as they tend to increase in age, the prices tend to go up. If your six-year-old wants to play hockey on the Semiami Ravens hockey team in White Rock, it's gonna cost you around eight hundred and twenty five dollars a season for the budding baseball star in your family you're looking at about hundred and sixty five dollars for spring league and for any soccer players in the family you're looking at about hundred and seventy five dollars for the fall season is white rock expensive well there you have the numbers now you tell me if you're someone that lives in the lower mainland that's watching this video I've got a question for you and I'd love for you to comment below how do these numbers compare to where you live in the lower mainland and do you consider where you live expensive for anyone watching this video that's from out of town well I'd ask you the same question where are you coming from and what do you think of the numbers presented in this video do you think they're expensive I also promised you before this video ended to give you the estimated cost of living how much you need to make just to get by to live in the city of White Rock this stat comes from the website Career Beacon and they estimate that a single person to live in the city of White Rock based on how expensive it is is gonna spend just over thirty seven hundred dollars per month to call White Rock home. Now, as you know, there's lots of factors at play when you're considering somewhere to live. And of course, the biggest factor to consider is your living expenses, whether it's rent or mortgage. And that's going to play a significant role in how much it costs to live here on a month to month basis. Now you know whether it's expensive to live in White Rock. And if you're someone that's considering moving to White Rock, always feel free to use the link to set up a conversation with our team and we can help make sure that your move here is an awesome one. Don't forget to subscribe, cue the music. We'll see you on the next video. Cheers.